this is what I see. This is what I envision. I don't envision a lab sheet with a perfect LDL. I don't envision you know, a lab sheet with a calculated cardiovascular risk. I evaluate, I, I envision people living the life they want to live, feeling good in mind and body, energetic. And sure, not having a heart attack, not having a stroke contributes to this. But I think we get lost so much in terms of single lab values and single tests, and we lose the bigger picture that this is what we want for people. And this is why I fight so hard to keep people on low carb and ketogenic diets when it's providing them with this lifestyle. And instead saying, let's understand we need to evaluate these people differently. We're not like everybody else. We're not part of that bell curve of the standard American society, the standard American person that are included in these trials. But there is evidence to say we should be saying, hmm, Maybe we should evaluate them differently and maybe we should treat them differently. And this is the message we need to get out. First, the message that LDL does not go up in the vast majority of the people starting the ketogenic diet for type two diabetes or for weight loss. And instead you see all these other beneficial changes. Second, there are ways we can evaluate people better and differently than what traditional medicine is doing at the moment. And third, we can treat them differently with different approaches, whether it's dietary interventions, slight changes or big changes, or a different subset of medications that work differently because the physiology is different. So hopefully this helped give a different perspective, right? There's that word again, perspective. We need to put it in perspective and realize we're dealing with a different situation that deserves a unique approach. Thank you.